Hello, it's Anita Bean again with BeanDesigns.com. In the last video that I did, we finished their page, but I forgot to mention to you that you needed to put shadows on your stickers, and I talked about the possibility that you could put shadows on your script and your font and your title and everything. I wanted to come back and mention that to you. I also wanted to show you a cool trip, trick. When you're doing paper scrapbooking, a lot of people talk about inking the edges. They'll ink the edges of chipboard pieces, ink the edges of pictures to make them pop off the page. And I've developed a, a tool to do that with my digital scrapbooking, to make things pop off the page. So I wanted to show you how to do that. I'm going to do it with my pictures. So I'm going to go to my layer palette over on the right. I'm going to highlight my daughter's picture. I'm going to go over to the tool palette and choose Fuzzy Select Tool. I'm going to click Feather Edges. I'm going to make it feather at 30. Then I'm going to go over to our image, our Scrapbook page. I'm going to click in the blank space between the picture and the mark, the ants, the selection. So I'm going to click in that space, and we have marching ants in that space. I'm going to select invert. I'm going to go over to the layers palette, right click on and. Well, you just click, just left click on the layer to select that layer, and on the bottom, you push duplicate. So we have a duplicate layer, duplicate copy of the picture of my daughter. And we have part of that highlighted. I'm going to push delete. Then I'm going to go up here in the top of the layer palette where it says normal. I'm going to click on the normal and I'm going to choose difference and once I select Christopher's layer and select none you can look over at Cynthia's picture and see how it kind of pops off the page and we're going to do very the same thing with his layer let's duplicate his layer duplicate the layer Use our fuzzy select, select inside the selection point, invert the selection, push delete on the keyboard, change the mode to difference, and select none. Okay, I'm going to do a similar thing on the edges of our paper. I'm going to highlight the paper blue duplicate that layer, choose the fuzzy select, and change the radius as high as it will go. I'm going to choose rectangle select, feather edges. Instead of fuzzy select, it should be rectangle select. I apologize for that. Make it 100. I'm going to click just inside the top left corner and draw a rectangle. I'm going to push delete. And then I'm going to go to normal, multiply. It's a little bit much, so I'm going to reduce the opacity on it until I like the way it looks. I'm going to go to the sand bucket layer, duplicate that layer, push delete. Go to our mode, click select multiply, and reduce our opacity. Let's do select none so you can see what we've done here. We've given the edges a little bit of coloring. I, I want to reduce the opacity a little bit more on the red. Make it more of a uh, less obvious 
but it's still there. Kind of gives depth to the paper. See what I'm saying? Okay, now I'm going to show you how this would affect uh, a letter. So we'll use the fuzzy select and we'll use 30 and we'll select it right inside here. We'll invert the selection. We need a duplicate layer. Okay, push delete. And then we'll make it, let's multiply it and select none. And see the creative look that you get on your letter? This is a really cool uh, tool, really fun to play with. Feel free to play around with it and give it, give it a try. Give your letters some fun look, pictures some fun look in your pages. Okay, this was Anita Bean with Bean Designs, and can't wait till I come back and show you another cool trick for preserving your memories for the future generations.